All right, guys, give me 32 here. Check it out. We're in the Freedom Office. I hope to keep it free. I doubt it will be in the very near future. And it seems that big tech uh, is censoring the living daylights out of everybody. Uh, I did this video a few minutes ago. Now, typically in the, uh, in the realm of an hour and a half or two hours, I would typically be getting, oh, I don't know, 10 or 12,000 views or whatever. That's a pretty good night. But on this one, 6,300 views. And it was about the whole deal up in D.C., but, and my wife and I are actually watching Animal House, one of the greatest movies of all time. So you may hear a little bit of that in the background. I'm having a little bit of bourbon and, believe it or not, some Oreo cookies. Because bourbon and Oreo cookies, well, they just go well together. And I got a text message from my buddies over there at the Virginia Civil Defense League. And their Facebook page has been deleted. As well as... Uh, I guess Parler has seen uh, some really unique adventures going on where Apple, as well as Google, has removed their apps. Really unique way of censoring anybody who doesn't think like the brown shirts. And pretty much that's what this shit is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I, I, I'm not a big conspiracy theory type person or anything else like that. But when this shit starts, this is getting real. Big tech is uh, killing everyone who doesn't think exactly like them. Now I tell you what, Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, you can. All right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep it clean. But I got to be perfectly honest with you. This is very distraught. This is very. This goes further than just a D.C. rally. Uh, this is an invasion into our First Amendment. The first thing that the brown shirts want to do is they want to stipend anything that you have to say that is in controversy or conflict with what these assholes believe in. Listen, there has to be a fair and balance. People have to have a means and ways of communicating. And even if that way of communicating is not agreeable to the ma the, these guys, these people over there, the left wing. Why, why, can I ask you a question? Why is it that Hollywood is such a left wing sack of shit? And why does, I don't know, big tech, hold on. Why does big tech have to sit there and have to uh, decide what we as citizens are allowed to see left and right? And the whole thing is now, Guys, ladies and gentlemen, they don't have anything that can hold them back. No one, no, they are a tool of the left-wing government, and as such, they can distribute what information you are allowed to see. And guys, ladies and gentlemen, the funny thing is, is that this video sees 2,000 views tonight. I know for a fact they've hit my channel. No big deal to me, because I'll figure a way in, and I'll figure a way out. I'm going to... Virginia for Lobby Day. And they pretty much have tried to stifle those guys. And we got a special video coming out very soon with them. But what they've done is they allowed the anti-gun crowd to pull every permit available so that, one, the Virginia Civil Defense League can even have an area in order to have a peaceful protest. But alas, there will be a parade. I shit you not and I'll be leading the way. But guys, this is getting pretty sick. All of a sudden, Google. Oh, Google, the boys out there with Apple, they're gonna go ahead and tell you that you can't, you can't see certain things. And we're just gonna, you know, we don't feel this is helpful for the world for you to see. What a crock of shit. They take Donald Trump down. Are you kidding me? The guy had almost 90 million followers. This is where we are in the world today, ladies and gentlemen. But I got news for you. I fight for my rights, and I will stand up, and I will not allow my children to be faced down with this BS. And I hope you stand with me. More to come later on, guys. I promise you this. We always end them like this. You like the video, give it a thumbs up, man. Let's make this thing go viral, because this shit gets old. Being stifled. Stifled being drugged down, being silenced. We cannot stand for this. Tucker Carlson was taken down off of Twitter tonight. Are you shitting me? 
What 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 a what an instigator, what an inciter of evil and, and protest because it doesn't do along with that fucking transparent piece of shit, Joe Biden and his dumb ass thing called Kamala Harris. We're in for a world of hurt in the next four years. And I sure as shit ain't gonna stand for it. Y'all be good. Take care. I'm out of here. Oh, don't forget bourbon and Oreos. You gotta you gotta mix it up, babies. We gotta mix it up.